do you think it's wrong for men or do you think men should not have a preference for women to not be promiscuous and have a low body count? Yeah, 2023, do body counts really matter? Really? Do you think about the girl body count when you get with her? We're going to take a look at a video clip that talks about body count. And welcome to our channel. My name is Noel. I'm here with Nate and Stephen J. Smith being verbal on life. Let's take whether a look. or not you care, whether or not you care about body count, um, at least go ahead and subscribe, like this video, share with your friends. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Nate, go in this side. The count doesn't matter. What's your body? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'll just here. I'll answer for you since you're gonna not answer. It's seventy three. That's fucking rude. <laughs> And very Damn. presumptuous of you. Why is it root of body count? But, I could, but I could say that yours is probably yeah. the okay. him it does. So Mine is two. Yeah. Does that mean that girl has 73 body count? That's insane. Yeah. I mean, but fellas, does that really matter? Do, do, does body count really matter? What's your take on it? Go ahead, Jay. You want to hit that topic? All right. So in reality, if we think about it, body count should not matter um you know because a girl could have slept with 70 something guys but if she got with you and she respects you she's faithful faithful to you then it shouldn't really matter who she was with or what she did prior to that relationship now the problem is with girls like this one that she can have that body count and it's, it's not that shouldn't be the problem but it looks to me as if though she's still someone who lives a lifestyle where she sleeps with a lot of men, meets guys, and has sex with them all the time, yet doesn't want to be judged for it. So it's not about the number as much as it is mm -hmm. about her lifestyle. I agree with you, man. She just she should just come up and say, you know, this is my body count and all that, but she being deceptive. You see how she got in the shirt totally a virgin? So then the guy will go in and find out, like, damn, got more mileage than the fucking, you know, James Brown mileage. <laughs> but um, I don't like that shit, man. You got to be straight up, say it. Some guys will like women with experience. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? And uh, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I agree with what you said, Jay. It doesn't matter, you know? Just come up front and say it, you know? But she a hoe. That's all I'm saying. Ain't that wrong, be the hoe. You know I'll say this much. I think body count mattered when I was younger and didn't know as much as I know now. You know, as you grow up, you learn um, about things, about girls, about women, about yourself, and it matters less and less. To you have to look for love and somebody who cares. Somebody who really cares about you and you look at the person and what they're up to. Are they still in that path of just trying to sleep with 100 men or 76 men like that young lady? And you know, you watch out for that. You know what I mean? But here's the biggest question. Would you marry an ex-porn star with a, with, a, with, a, with a huge body count? Well, first off, um, I want to quote uh, a famous poet. Um, I don't love them hoes. <laughs> That's it. But I don't know. I'll date him. I, I'll, I'll marry him if it's J-Lo and Elizabeth Taylor. You know what I mean? I'm hoes, you know, but I a little mad at y'all there, but you know, it's about your hoes. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, bro. Other than that, hell to the now. But you know what? I, I got to be real about it, though. When we was teenagers, we did love them hoes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we ain't lying. <laughs> We're pushing to the cushion. <laughs> but I just but, thought, uh, what you young, think about that, Noah? What you think? <laughs> when you're young, yet I just having fun. I'm thinking in terms of settling down in a relationship because nowadays you have a lot of girls who hit the wall. You know what I mean? They yeah. hit that age where they not they can't compete with the other younger hoes, and they yeah. want to try to get with a man and try to settle down and like calm things down. And you're like. I don't think I want but this girl. but I, I want to say something about that. There's a difference between a girl who who's been a hoe, who's done her thing, 
and who reached the point in her life where she's like, okay, I want to move on. I want to be in an exclusive relationship and, and just decides that she wants to change. And people start taking that girl serious. But if you're a hoe and you're already washed up and nobody wants you, and because nobody wants you, now you're trying to look for something, you're going to have a hard time finding that something. Yeah, yeah. Because now you're, you're not a girl who changed. You're a washed up hoe who just can't get what you're looking for. So now you're willing to go do this. Yeah, yeah. That's what, true, I agree. One solution is to move to a different neighborhood, a different borough. They don't know you. They don't know your history. And then you're good to go. You know what I mean? You are virgin according to that new neighborhood. Nobody knows the numbers you got on you. And keep them moving. Exactly. That's what you got to do. Just move to a new neighborhood. <laughs> and advice from me, from me to them house, just make sure you cook to the new guy. You know, new neighborhood, uh, new identity. Just make sure you cook. Treat them nice. And you can start your whole life again. Zero count. Quick story. Like growing up, there was a, a, a an individual that was growing up in our in our building. I'm not gonna say her name, that people were running trays on her. Whatever happened to that young lady? You know what I mean? Wherever she went to, they don't know none of that history. But of people running trains on girls. But you guys are sick. And, 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 and to my knowledge, that young lady turned out to be a good woman. Yeah. You know, to my understanding. So the fact that, you know, we was running trains on well, I'm not gonna include myself. The fact that y'all was running trains, you know, it it you know, it didn't affect who she became in the future. My man is dry. Damn, that, that was a switch uh dry snitching but let's check you do you think that celebrities like these women like the, the Kardashian, the J and all that make these young ladies you know go to those rounds you know <laughs> you know back to you Noel. <laughs> you know you joking about it and laughing you joking about it and laughing but it's real like what you're saying is actually deep because those celebrities constantly share photoshop images of themselves they share yeah. edited edited pictures where you know their cellulite is removed and mm -hmm. little marks are, are removed and then younger girls think, hey, I want to look perfect like that celebrity. But they don't even understand that that celebrity doesn't look perfect either. That's a that's a manufactured image. So, yes. you know, the image that celebrities are putting out of themselves are affecting younger kids to want to look like something mm -hmm. that's not even achievable. I agree. Yo, you heard it, Jay. You're right. You're right about that. Crazy time, man. No? These, these hoes ain't loyal. So we see some crazy time. These old... <laughs> women trying to look young, they need to let it go and let the new young girls that come in, came on stage, let them take over. It's their turn. That's it. Right. They don't want to give it up. And I'm tired of hearing all these J-Lo's. To me, you know how old is J-Lo? It's like, what you mean? Yeah, we still love you, though. She's I like still 50 love you. something. Like, nah, man, I don't love her, man. She could keep it moving. Damn. <laughs> With that, I'm going to say, leave a comment below. Leave a comment below. Please subscribe. And we're going to yeah. be verbal on the next video. Peace. All right. All right. Peace.